Fucking do that, man. It's weird. <laughs> it's odd. Yeah. It's odd behavior. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was like, you know what? We can't. We're we're kind of in a weird spot. We can't talk good shit anymore. Why is that? Because Ludwig's too connected. No, that's fine. Every we can time, talk good shit. If we want to talk about how the Batez sisters literally endorse slavery, he has to go and he has to go before <laughs> the Senate and he has to say, Hey guys, look, there it's like a thing and it's he has to like break bread. So and he has to go sure and be like, cool. All right, so I know it's confusing, the horse moves in an L shape. And so they figured this out a while ago. I know. <laughs> We're a li- We are Ludwig's I like liability. How you are jumping because you basically made an, a monologue on Saikuno after never having watched him. To now we can't, dude. Disparage slime. Slime comes on the show and he goes, "We Yo, can't talk shit on slavery." I want to talk about Saikuno diaper this is, play. This is the and then next week he's like, "We all fucked up, huh?" This is the we beginning of his no Rogan more. arc. This is the beginning no, of his not. Rogan arc. No, it's not. No, white white men. They just don't have a space on the internet anymore. <laughs> and then and then Netflix, Netflix Bro. comes and hands in the check. Dude, do you remember when Ethan Klein did like a uh, white like BuzzFeed doesn't care about white people video? And yeah. I was like, damn, this has gone a long way from Pepsi Max. <laughs> <laughs> like what happened? It's, it's not just safe a word. Niche anymore. <laughs> yeah, dude. Anyway, yeah, I th- I was thinking about that a lot. It's like Ludwig has to constantly go to these people and be like, "Hey, what what your roommate said that like we're war criminals, and he's got to be like, ah, <laughs> you know, was, all in the yeah, game. You know, what I think would be really nice that we did if we all if we all said sorry to Austin, who I heard had his feelings hurt Austin by slime. Had his feelings yeah. hurt. I was actually I was bummed about that. I felt bad. Dude, you forget. Like it's funny because on one ho- side you're like, damn, we are humans. Treat us like humans. And then when I have influencer <laughs> friends, you're like, fucking chill. Right. Fucking a robot hey, creep. Actually chill. created Austin, in a lab. Austin, I have nothing to apologize <laughs> the for. The content I, machine I asked, is empty. I asked He's if you had a unique about you. interest. It's really only Anthony, but yeah. I thought we could do it from all of us because it would it would be funnier on it. camera. I wanted to know if you liked. Well, now I you're liked being a jerk by not apologizing. A YouTube channel that I liked. We'll let him know that you didn't want to apologize. You turned it into a D's nuts joke. But it was really funny. It was really funny. Everyone here is just gaslighting my poor man, Eamon. I don't believe in gaslighting. Hey, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it to Austin. Uh, yeah. No, I, I actually, I would like to say it. So Austin has, uh, I've been. <laughs> Austin show, by the way. I've been kind of mean to that guy. Yeah. Uh, for a while. And <laughs> 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 That's so funny. So that sentence funny. works this, with like 90% of humans. So no, it funny. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Funny. But the thing is, the... Here's, here's why I felt slighted. <laughs> he's like, he's I, like, I'm going to exp- I'm gonna, Sorry, go ahead. Get your bit in. <laughs> he's like, I think I have unfairly yelled at Aiden this time. <laughs> I would never say that. I would never. Like, I would like never. him saying that. I would never say that. <laughs> you catch me dead before I would say that word, those words. You know, I think I said something a little too quick this time. Never. I'd like to take it back. <laughs> Perhaps no. I should have absorbed material before coming to a conclusion. I am going to uh, explain my perspective, which does not justify, nor excuse, nor validate it. Okay? okay? Hey, welcome back to the yard, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, welcome to the yard. World's no, longest basically, intro. Basically, so I went on the, uh, the Batez, uh, uh Austin date show. What is it called now? Uh, the I Austin think it's show. just called the Austin show. Well, actually, I don't know. It's, right? It was the Raj Schiller. I don't know what he yeah, calls it. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. The Austin Schiller. I mean, you can still call it the Raj Schiller. <laughs> oh, was. the Austin Schiller. The Austin now, now you're in on the joke. That's funny, Aiden. <laughs> and so I, I went on that. Austin, I'm sorry. And so I have a, uh, I have a, pre- a prejudice against the idea of like live stream content and like daily popcorn YouTube content. And oddly enough, like many of the 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 tentacles that Ludwig touches, right? Like all, all the you, time. You have tentacles. and I always have, right? You also. Live stream too, yeah. But well, no. Wait, when I say live stream <laughs> content, smoked I mean like I mean like the that sort of like spoon fed reality TV like live stream scene the if, system, if that makes sense. Uh, which I don't think is a crazy concept, and and I'm just initially always against it. I always have been. It's always kind of struck me as weird, um, which is you know not that's what I, that's that's my thing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I go on that show. I make it in the fucking gladiatorial arena of like all these unfunny people end up top three fed Jay Schlatt, me. <laughs> three people with great reputation yeah. on the internet. Just, One guy just fucking spotless record. Known as being the best racist and has not streamed in two years. <laughs> the other 
terrible ousting from OTV, now ripped and has a dog. And then a hair criminal. <laughs> what? What's a hair criminal? Uh, you're bald. I don't know. The funnier way to say oh, okay, that. Okay, yeah. So and and so basically, I was like, uh, uh, in in this scene, like a nobody, and I just was like, made enough B level jokes to get to the final three, and then I got cut because I wasn't, you know, popular, and it was funny. And then I remember after Austin had said something like, "This guy is next up. He is so funny. He's next up," and I was r- wrongfully offended. Because I was like, you should already know that I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is so fucking funny. Yeah. Because I was on like, so many levels. I actually don't know. Do we have time to break all that down? Austin, uh, Austin should have been watching Doritos. Those, Doritos yeah. at the instant replay. Bad I'm melee. <laughs> the right. vanity Smash required YouTube. for him to like. You should have been watching Smash Summit. It, it, it also <laughs> it made me feel like. Well, of course, this guy, because I also have this self-deprecating e- element where I'm like, I'm not that funny. You just don't know what funny is, right? And so I'll, I'll think about it from that lens a lot. And so all these elements come together. It's like he's a guy who hosts, like, ultimately reality shows on Twitch. It's like, I already have this idea of this person, and I'm like, this guy sucks. And then he's like, bro, you're next up. And I'm just like, <laughs> all right. And that that is where it all started. And then ever since, I've called him a shill. I've just called him a shill. For complimenting you. <laughs> That's you right. mean to like <laughs> the only successful gay streamer? That's not true. Hey, yeah. hey, don't take that away from Prezzo. Prezzo's, <laughs> yeah. Prezzo's putting fucking work in. You Prezzo's see, putting up numbers. But he's hitting the backboard. You on see those that tweets. clip where Prezzo made a, a girl version of himself and then yes. dragged it as a JPEG oh and, and God, blew himself so funny. and then spit water all over himself? Yeah. <laughs> that's art. That's that performance was art funny. Right there. You got to scroll real far and just chat to find that guy. Yeah, but that's not the point. And that's the difference. That's why it still makes me mad. <laughs> Ludwig hurts. doesn't care. He doesn't hey. go to Universal with you unless you're fucking a big dog, brother. And I'm like, I'll if never be like that. If you asked him to go to Universal, I bet he would. And you would never. Yeah. I also yeah. asked him lightly if he wanted to go to a basketball game tomorrow. And he said no. So it, it, it's not. It's a No, I'm point. not talking about going with me. I'm just talking about Ludwig is now in an environment where it's like, your time has to be spent so carefully and valuably that you know being among the among the streets is just like not reasonable and that's okay you know what i realized about ludwig today while i was driving i was thinking about this is uh so ludwig went rock climbing i think it was like yesterday and uh and he comes home he's like i went rock climbing and i'm like sick invite what the fuck was that he's like i just assume like until you quit your job that you're just always busy and i was Mm -hmm. like okay and then literally like the next day He's like, or the same night, actually. He's like, hey, so you want to record the pod early tomorrow? And I'm like, no, I work all day. And he's like, <laughs> like, he doesn't expect me to be busy when he wants to do the podcast also, early. But I when, have... when I want to do something, he just doesn't invite me because I'm fucking busy. It's really convenient how that shit works, you moron. I've invited you to a lot of climbing sessions. It's so funny because you, you have asked him the same podcast question as if it's the first time at least Every Monday. 10 times. Every Monday. <laughs> at least 10 times and like, i was actually fine got, with being asked do, every time you because do pot sometimes early? i work from home yeah. so like i was okay being asked to go out until i realized ah. <laughs> until i realized that it is entirely self-serving ah. I asked because he just assumes shit sessions. based on his schedule i feel like hey. we are ignoring the fact that i ask him to more climbing sessions and he asks hey, me hey lay off That's lay off ludwig i don't go without you he's hey lay off ludwig he's busy hey then you ain't been climbing enough i'm with you it was miserable, by the way. <laughs> climbing? I don't know. Yeah. Wait, why was climbing miserable? Do you because not like doing it by yourself? He says to me, he goes, dude, I was a fucking zoo animal. Yeah. Yeah, you were like a, you were like a, a, a lemur in the zoo. I'm AirPods in. I'm wearing a Sussy Among Us shirt right. and then a Hess Hampion ship, which is like a chest sweatshirt over it. Like super cringe merch. And uh, love Hess, though. And I, I'm, I'm like AirPods in, listening to like a podcast, like just busting up some walls. And like... I was just walking through, and it's like, it, this is the face. Oh, uh, but they don't say anything? But they don't say anything, and they're just kind of gawking at me. Uh-oh. And then, I it, like, <clears throat> the problem is every conversation is like, dude, you look exactly like Ludwig. Were they fucking What? And I was like, yeah, I am. They're like, dude, what? No way. And you know, I knew <laughs> every single person there was not like a real Ludwig fan in the sense that like they knew who I They're was. They're a streamer fan. They've consumed and content. They, know you. they didn't show their tattoo. Of, They're uh, not. I wouldn't even go that far. The They're more like guy. like a YouTube Amogus fan in 2020 is what I it felt like. And so it was like you know like I don't think any of them knew I was on YouTube or like what I was doing these days. But I was just like, hey, you are somewhat. Yeah, I've seen you on a screen before, and I was watching it, and like I was kind of feeling like a like a bit of a schmuck. 
hadn't showered. I was going to cl- shower after climbing. And and then after I climbed, they just kind of hang out. And they were all good climbers. That was a problem, too. Dude, this is exactly the problem that, like, women face every day. Like, getting approached at the gym and, like, people... Yeah, thought, yeah. And, like, and, like, oh, I got to kind of be on yeah. all the time. And then they'd come and up and like, they'd be like, good they'd when be I like the oh, house. shit, you need help with your deadlift form? This is crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, bro, I'm all right. Like, I'm just kind of working on it's, my deadlifts. It's, it's like that when you completely remove the power dynamic, which makes it so much easier for Ludwig. <laughs> That's yeah. true. To navigate. Yeah, I guess I guess if he's like, hey, no, I'm good. I kind of just want to be left alone. They won't be like, okay, bitch. I think <laughs> like, they won't yeah. think oh, that. Well, I thought they you were ugly. You were, you were ugly time. Time. Yeah. anyway. <laughs> Dude, that's, this is blowing my mind. You a were guy, just, stop you, me. You, you were living is, and always. Instead of, instead of having sex with Ludwig, they want to be in one of his YouTube videos about climbing. But one, some people were cool, too. They were like trying to get me to do this wall, and I was like trying it, and I was like, I'm not good enough. They were like V6 climbers. Oh, okay. I'm like, what do you want from me? This is actually is the, the added risk of going alone, right? Because you don't have the force field of a social interaction yeah. with one of your closer friends. I I think I will. I, I don't want to go without my Nick blanket well, again. Well, now you need Let's him. Go. Now you. Now you I have to. You know to what we should do up. next time someone comes up? It's like climb that V six right now or no picture. Ooh, but if you do a picture, one try. And one. then they go over. They spend all day on it, and we're Fla- like fucking. You chilling. use terminology. Flash it for me. <laughs> Flash <laughs> oh, it. Ooh. Yo, you want to climb tomorrow morning? What? No, I can't. He's at work. It's Smash Summit. It's Smash, Smash Summit. One way. It's his busiest week, and this week it's his is last week. Smash Summit, and <sighs> it's gonna be a great <sighs> one. <laughs> <laughs> so that on in in uh, a similar uh, similar topic, uh, while so I I went to Sweden. It's not you know, uh, and we there was a concert. I went to the fucking Young Lean concert. <laughs> We're in line, uh, waiting to get in, and there was this guy who kind of did this double take in front of me. And we're with uh, one of the people I'm at the concert with is Leffen, and uh, Leffen, you know, here for Smash Summit, famous Smash player. Um, often, uh, ever since I've met Leffen, like for the first time we hung out, like he gets recognized literally all the time. And, uh, this guy does a double take at our group and he looks behind at me and he's like, are you aiming? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I was just listening. The fight goes the Fox player. (laughs) 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 He was like, I was just listening to, uh, I was just listening to (laughs) the latest episode today. Like the the latest episode of the yard, I was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, like nice to meet you. His name was <laughs> it, fuck yeah, bro, come here, bro, <laughs> fuck yeah, get in here, dude. Out. yes. And, and uh, I asked you, for his you name. You guys start arm wrestling, and uh, and we were talking. He was like, why are you here? And I was just saying, oh yeah, I'm visiting them, like visiting friends, and uh, and I was like, we're here with uh, Leffen, because Leffen had like fallen behind. He hadn't like checked in through the gate yet. Where if you know who Leffen is too, and he's like. I do not. I think I've heard the name. No, like, no. It was this really funny situation where me and all of our friends that have all like been with Leffen for so long, who's always been so much more famous than everybody, and it was like finally a moment. It's like this guy doesn't even know who he is. Yeah. And I got I got recognized first, which was super funny. Which is the inversion of of Leffen being the most popular person at a Young Lean concert. Yeah. Who has more followers? <laughs> he has more followers on Twitter than Young Lean does. Yeah. Which is also funny. That's, in, but, that's insane to me. So this is this is after the concert, and you you had talked about this later, and the reason why I wanted to bring it up is he, I think he must have been super drunk or something, because he was like incessantly replying to Leffen uh, on Twitter, trying to get a like trying to get a message from me, and then you said he had been messaging you yeah, he as so well. Much. Yeah, I was so annoying. And I just hadn't looked at my phone in a while, and I I checked. Oh, it. imagine that. Yeah, imagine because I usually I'm checking it a lot, and uh, and I I replied to him. I'm like, Yo, what's up? Because he was just trying to like see what's up after the concert, and uh, he's like, Yeah, we're going out. We're I'm, you know, if you want to come out, I'm like, no, sorry, dude. Like, we're we already have something planned, and I'm probably gonna go to bed like pretty early. This is the fan or Ludwig? Uh, this sorry, is the sorry, fan. Leffen. Okay, this is the, the fan. fan. And uh, and then he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. Let me know if you want any coke. <laughs> and then it all comes together. I'm like, this guy is probably just coked out of his fucking that's mind. Tight. And that's why he's sending like 20 dude, messages a second. <laughs> it's cool that you can go to another country and get offered coke for yeah, this podcast. Yeah. So that's yeah. before Leffen. That's the important thing. It's not about getting the offer for Coke. It's about that Leffen didn't get you it. You tell Leffen, he's like, dude, I used to get offered Coke so much. <laughs> yeah. COVID they really just know I Coke. don't want it, so whatever. Yeah, but it, wow. just, it just all like fused together. It was like, because he messaged me like once, like normally the next day. And I'm like, okay, so he was just in Coke mode, presumably. That's yeah, Atriox's wet so dream. Annoying. What, to be offered drugs? No. Schedule two? I am Leffen, and then Atriox is Amen. This happened. 
This exact thing happened. Well, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of you talking about the climbing, and he was like, hey, I'm a fan of the yard, and then he went to Atriox? He went to Atriox first. Yeah. Lowy and Atriox were like nice to each other, and he introduced himself to Atriox, and I'm, I'm a big fan of your streams. Can, can I beef real quick with Atriox? Yeah. He always yeah. got beef with Oh, Atriox. yeah, man. It's a podcast. You might as well. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I never got to apologize. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, no. Austin. <clears throat> yeah. I, uh, yeah. Say it to the camera. Don't say it to me. Well, I'm just you say it to him. It, yeah. It's just kind of funny. It got, it got blown over, and then I was like, oh, I think nice. the amount I'm you safe. know about planes is cool. And yeah, we all agree on that. To cap it off, after all that happened, I went and I started watching Saikuno's streams, just, just raw. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is nice. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. Yeah, <laughs> he's very. He's a very calming voice. Yeah, incredibly but, inoffensive. But, but you were ASMR. the one. You were the one that uh, said all that fucked up shit. So anyway, wait. I, wait, <laughs> yeah. I actually have a beef. Can I air a beef with him? With who? I'll, I'll take it off you. Oh, with Austin. Oh yeah. I'll air my beef really quick. Yeah, please. The airing of you grievances. got beef. No, this is great. This is a great way well, to dude, Ludwig, cap an every apology. Every time this yeah. happens, Ludwig's like, oh, I got a fucking. He, we are a liability for Ludwig, and to part of that makes me happy, but also part yeah. of it because I'm Ludwig pilled now makes me sad. I just like the idea of him stressing and feeling emotions at my hand. You guys uh, are all bad humans. Continue. Okay, so I, again, <laughs> again, true. roped into this. So the night, the night that we met him uh, in Texas, he he was talking to Aiden, and I, it was like. It was like they, it, I couldn't even, it's like how a movie describes two best friends meeting each other for the first time. Like they were like so happy and talking to each other and like getting into stuff. And like, I was like, wow, they're really, they're really hitting it off. They're really like, you know, having a good conversation. And then uh, he like kind of turns and like Aiden walks away to do something else. And he like makes eye contact with me and he goes, uh, I'm not exaggerating. He goes, you with like the whole Ludwig thing. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, he goes. Back and then on. just turns away, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I'm like, "What do I gotta do?" Uh -oh. Well, I gotta look like that. I got all I gotta no, do. You know what you be... gotta do? Ta catch third in a Roshler. You gotta be. <laughs> Wait, he didn't do that shit. You gotta or, be charming or, and or, tall like Amon. Or you be cute. It was crazy. Cute me. <laughs> be charming and cute and tall like Amon. I'll work on it. Bro. That is a bad omen. <laughs> the grill. The grill disagrees the with ghost, what you said. The ghost of Austin just fucking moved the grill. <laughs> yeah, so my beef's hot. Okay, well, my beef's gone, but, you know. Should we put it back? Nah. Dude, it, like, okay. He, so, Atrog, he, Atrog was here this like this last weekend. and um, he, he was here for, like, a week, basically. He was here for, like, a really long time. He was supposed to come for Small He was here for thing? five days. It was Small Ant's thing, right? He was here for Point Crow's thing. Point Crow. I, mi I mixed them up. Yeah. Is that bad? It's another bad trade. They have, like, no, the same type of... They have similar profile <laughs> pictures. They have similar profile pictures. That's why I yes. mixed them up. Some it, is, it is equivalent to Austin saying to Nick, are you part of the Ludwig thing? No, it is no, not. It's no, it's not. not at all. If you no. guys not don't at all. understand no, that Point Crow... No, they're profile pictures. They're Point similar. Crow consistently lives in Small Ant's shadow, and a lot of people give him grief for it. I'm just letting you know how it is. I didn't even know they were related. They just have similar profile pictures. I'm just letting you know how it is from Point Crow's perspective. Yeah, that's good. This is you, not hey, a you guys can tell him how they feel person. about it. From his perspective, you're right. All right. The same Point thing. Point Crow, shouldn't feel bad about this. Point Crow, I'm writing our apology for next week right now. You shouldn't feel bad. Plus, you're white. And I, is he? Maybe Cuban? <laughs> <laughs> the, the bird just laughed. <laughs> so, okay, uh, I'm, I'm, dude, Atrox is staying with us, and he'll just hang out in Ludwig's, like, where Ludwig usually sits uh, in our office, and he'll play, like, Age of Vampires. And he was here for a while, and it's actually really fun having him around. He's very, like, bouncy, yeah. and he, like, he always jokes with you, and he's always, like, in a good mood, and I'm like, you know what? This is a fun guy. I'm like, I could, I could, I like this. And so I, I decided to open my heart to Atrock. You were there. And I, and I, he, <laughs> so, yeah. he's, he's, so he's like about to leave the Doritos. Logos he's tacos. literally, I'm going to go shower. Yeah. And he's salty from a video game. And I was like, Hey, before you do, I wanted to tell you something. And he's like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, I just wanted to say that I, you've been hanging out a lot here and I'm really, it makes me really happy. And I've been like really enjoying your company. It's been like pretty cool, man. And like, I, I really enjoy having you around. And he's like, what the f like? What the fuck? What? And he, he like thought I was joking with him or something. He was like, "Is like a bit or something?" And I'm like, "No, I'm legit telling you that it makes me feel good." And he's like, I "I'm just gonna go shower." And he just leaves. He was he was so rattled because this is off this is off the it's back crazy. of him losing an Age of Empires match that he was super salty he gets about. Really mad that you were fucking with him 
during. No, I fucked Whoa. with him. Instead of, no, I fucked with him on one, and I took that funny video. Yeah, and then it was another. Oh, one Oh, this that is a he different played. game. Yeah. Okay, okay. It was a different one but that he played. He was, he was, uh, at, like out of whack because because of the loss, and he just couldn't compute slimes like nice sentiment after being like bombarded with bits. <laughs> and Nick for was so like, long. he's like, wait, no, you don't go anywhere. He's trying to spill his heart out to you. Yeah, I stopped him from leaving. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, you'll leave the room until he's done. And then he, like, he doesn't do this very often. He wasn't having it. But the thing is, we didn't know he was mad at a video game. Because the because the next time he came down, I chastised him. Where I was like, "Fuck you, man! I'll try to fucking open my heart." And I was fucking kidding. Like you try to open my heart, you just won't let me, bro. You won't let me in. He's like, "Oh, I was just mad at a video game." And I was like, "Oh, you bitch!" <laughs> I could spill some dirty tea on him right now. <gasps> wait, wait, you have to. Wait, wait I have to. That. You're gonna. Spill I know what it is. Dirty, dirty I was gonna say it now. Brando? I actually can't. So, Eamon, I'll let you take over. I promise. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, 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 why no, no, can't you? Oh, well, I promise. Oh. He he uh, did so like a, the audio listeners slime did like pinching his nipples and screaming. he did like beg for he you to begged not say me it. not to say it and I said I wouldn't and so I won't but Eamon, if you were Aiden there that's fucking crazy Aiden, you you're brought, putting you him brought in it up you brought it up position. you got to say it no it's, he brought it up first I'm saying I'm saying he brought it up but now it has to be said give me the dirty 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 tea now it's time for the aided oh, English breakfast tea I think, do you think he'd actually be bad Earl fucking Gray <laughs> we'll cut it out if it's bad whatever they'll be fine. Okay, oh, so Gambit? we're we're downstairs. We're hanging out outside the office, and Atrock is at his computer working on a thumbnail. And we're we're talking outside the office, just like joking around. And then I think we need Atrock for something, so we go into the room, and uh, Ludwig catches what's going on on his screen. What he's a doing joke, with the thumbnail? I go to his thumbnail and I say, "This would make it better." And I click on his face and I hit the delete button. <laughs> and then, so we're, nice. we're we're at his computer, and then Ludwig's like. Ludwig looks again and he's like, "Wait, were you, were you moving your hairline forward?" <gasps> <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> oh no! Zipper, bring up the Rip Bozo <laughs> gift, please. <laughs> no, dude. Okay, so oh. and Amber's like, yeah, like, he's like trying to explain himself. He's like, "No, it's because the angle, it's because oh. the angle my face is at. I need to like, I just wanted to adjust it. It was just a little bit." And and and. and <laughs> Ludwig, Ludwig and me 50, are fucking people dying. used to live here. And he immediately, oh. he immediately <laughs> goes into damage control. He immediately goes into damage control. He's like, you can't tell anybody. You can't tell me. You can't talk oh, about this man. on the podcast. No, you it's can't a talk about the podcast. If you bring it up on the podcast, people are going to give me shit forever. And he's just like babbling about and I, the whole time i'm like crying laughing <laughs> he's so it was so funny we caught him in the ass i will defend him now after dragging him he basically like just blows up his face to be larger and then it cuts off his hair because his hair just like kind of sits on the top <laughs> so he brings it down so he brings so it it's down just his bald forehead yeah because otherwise <laughs> it would just be his bald forehead and people would say he looks bald and i used to all the time remove my acne from thumbnails i would just do a quick like copy surrounding oh, area that's different and i would remove my acne that's all the so time different. i told chat about it openly <laughs> so different. but sure surely none of you guys are going to go to his chat and bother him so it's all right uh, this is actually christmas for me <laughs> I, I am oh. my my gift to you <laughs> my gift to slime oh yeah uh, yeah you also get slime no, no, that's it oh my heart is full we should it's have full. gifts for the Christmas episode that we share with each other on, I'm down. on the episode on the episode Someone we have suggested to, it in that's the on the we have to do it elephant. in New Hampshire to, yes the tw- wait yeah. that episode that's the Christmas yes. episode yeah no, are we, are we about announcing 20... that right now Seven. we've already said it before uh, we said it oh Oh, and, I'll, yeah. and I'll say it again. Yeah. We're going to my hometown, my house I, that I grew up in, actually. Same one. And uh, and my mom still lives there. And we're going to record the yard there. Yeah. I'm going to find the rag he used to bust into and crack it in half like a clipboard. It wasn't a rag. <laughs> I would just use my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that's. Cool. I'm gonna dip it in guac and see if it stays in one piece when I pull it back out, like a like a chip. I want to see how much cheese and cheese and veggies I can put on it. You guys are talking about the my label says cum, it right? won't break, but I don't believe it. Carries a lot of meat. <laughs> I called my mom about it today. I told her She's for the first time about it. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> after yeah. we booked actually, our flights, yeah. yeah. Are the flights booked? Uh, well, mine and Anthony's are. Yeah, I didn't book shit. Uh, but she did say that Mrs. B, who's my uh, my best friend growing up's mom. Uh, has an extra bedroom for you guys if you want to stay there. For uh, the three of us? Uh huh. In in one bed? Mrs. B? Yeah, Mrs. B. You were talking good on Mrs. B. Mrs. B's yeah. great. Yeah, she makes delicious bagel sandwiches. That's not what that's you were what talking B's about for. before. It's for bagel. That's for what bagel I was talking sandwich. about. Wait, that's what you were talking about. Mrs. B's <laughs> she is Mrs. delicious bagel, bagel sandwich. sandwiches? Yeah. 
I always bring up her bagel sandwiches. This is big. <laughs> you can go back and find the I feel like the, the context was different. Yeah, it was her bagel sandwiches. She sounds great. And She's I great. would love to you, okay, do that. I, I have a question for you. I figured this was intentional, but I was surprised by the number of people that did not notice it. I watched your video with the dislike counter in it. Uh-huh. Cool concept. Like it a lot. Thank and you. A bad lot of execution. Other, you really should Other Caroline people think it was really high it was on great. thumbnail. I listened to the first two sentences, and I'm like, he's, bu- he's biting Tom Scott. This is like it's, sentence. This is bar for bar, Tom it Scott. Was, it's it's. it's well, let me close tribute. my Roman history video. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I was surprised what? by like nobody made a comment about it at all. Like Wait, nobody. The comments were literally filled when with I people. when I checked it. Aiden scrolled down once. All right, and hold on. The first this Wait, I, I I watched it like Wait. thirty minutes after you uploaded it. This video won't be a hundred percent accurate. In fact, it'd be a miracle if it was, and that's because the way YouTube allows you. No, to don't play that. Go to the end. The end. Go the to end? the last ten seconds because Eamon missed this. Oh, shit. Oh, no. A little earlier, 10 seconds before that. Aiden doesn't get the entire context, but forms an opinion. One more, one more, one more. Oh, yeah, I see it. experiment was somewhat successful. By the way, before the video ends, I have to give a huge thank you to Tom Scott, who inspired this video with with his video. How many views does this video have? Thank you very much, Tom. Yeah, that and what Zipper just showed is Ludwig's video showing Tom Scott's channel. And video. You didn't make it another minute before commenting. You are the commenter that I despise. I didn't comment. The most. You did what I, I didn't did. comment. You, you did what you I did. You literally just commented on You're it. You're the yeah, same. You're the count. same. <laughs> you did what I did with Saikuna, but you did it with your friend Ludwig, who you love. I watched four minutes of the video. No, it, there is, are a, three, it, it, it three, is a four minute three, video. Three minute, 55 oh. seconds. Oh. Four you just keep video. lying. You just keep lying. I watched you explain why dislikes need to be on YouTube. You, you ended the video. I watched you get into the meat of your argument and then exited. All I'm saying is you left before the thing happened, and I get it. <laughs> your attention for that video is 55%, so you left about average leave time, but you missed the part where I did specifically shout out Tom Scott. Your average. Your average and were the we same. We can cut this. We can cut nope. this bit. This no, I think it's fine. No, you wrote it on the whiteboard. Good video, though. It's the first video to no, ever hit was, a million views in 24 hours. It's a great video. Wait, really? It's a great your video. video. Yeah. Wow. Repeated it same day with the why I moved to YouTube hey, on the second channel. And that's why, you, that's why you're respected. You give credit where credit's due. He's sucking up. I'll take it. Also, oh, also fuck. weird so thing. Easy. He's this, so easy. Bro. This made me go back to the Tom Scott video, which I'm surprised is still working and depressing. What is it? I don't know what this he is. He basically has a video that says this video has, and it's the amount of views it has, and it's correct, and it's it's impressively correct. Like every time you refresh it, it's like usually one to one, and it's basically about how this code that he put in to do this will break. Like the mountain that he's standing in front of will fall down. Like the entire earth will go away. So it's a meditation on like the philosophy of like death and entropy. Yeah, it's basically about entropy, but why you should still create things even though entropy exists. Yeah, really. Tom yeah. It's not just like a cute like, hey, I I made a little. Script. That's what mine no. is. <laughs> no, his is like. You should have done that. No, it's, it's I'm like good. all things will live and die and signif- not really significantly matter ever. <laughs> Do you? And watch- most people who watch my videos are not subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Dude, what I'm doing. You should. Can you start doing that? Can you for start, TikTok time in, in your videos? So, yeah. For TikTok time, start slipping in like dreadful existential ruminations for no, like a like minute. Seven, seven seconds of like all the lights off and your eyes like painted black and you're staring into the camera. <laughs> I'm going to answer this for you guys. No. Why is that? Yeah. Can you explain why you won't do that? You know, just because one, that's not how I think. Oh, not I feel artist. like you that's don't. True. I feel like you don't want to think outside the box. That's right. You don't think it's <laughs> out the bun. And Dr. K was right. You are broken. Yeah. You guys want to hear about when I got mushrooms? When, yes. you got when you mushrooms? got them well, on three. One, two, three. Yes, yes Ludwig. Ludwig. All right. <laughs> so I was over at Hassan's house the other day. We ate pseudostroming, which is what I was trying to get you guys to eat. No, but you I, ate wait, that the, shit? This is the, the herring, right? Yeah. I, I ate it. Was it for a meme? Wait, ferment, I ate fermented it. or just herring? It was the fermented, yeah. So it's, okay. it's basically fermented herring. What they do, it's a Swedish dish. It's like 500 years old. And it's what they would use when they go on long sailing voyages because it preserves really well. And it's just really incredibly salty fish. Is but, that why he said that his house like smelled bad? Yes. Okay. The yeah. fermentation process is terrible. And Miskiff had to eat it because he lost a bet to me. Mm-hmm. And we opened it up at Hassan's. He had no clue what this was. He actually hates fish uh, and seafood in general. And, uh, Hassan but I, does? Yeah. So I convinced him to open this and also eat it. Uh, and it doesn't actually taste as bad as it smells. It smells wretched. He likes you, bro. Uh, he likes his, you for doing he that. He does. And his house smells fucking terrible now. <laughs> um, but I, while I was there, he was talking about how he has these mushroom chocolate bars, which with psilocybin, the ac- active yeah. ingredient in mushrooms. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and he was like talking about taking him. I was a DD all day. I was driving cutie homes. I was like, I'm, I'm all set. But I, I it imagine like, if you were like uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like only a few miles. No, bro. I, Mario I, uses him when he drives. He's fucking chilling. Yeah, he goes uh, fast. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that's coming. So I, uh, Mario's coming in this story. Dude. Su- wait, that. Super Mario? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I just keep this locked in my mind. But it reminds me that I have, I haven't had an edible in like a month plus. It's been a while. I just don't have any. And and I was like, oh, I should go purchase some. And this last night when me and Cutie are getting dinner, I'm like, hey, let's stop by this place. And it's called like Secret Alley Edibles or something like that. Secret Alley Weed. <laughs> Just rock bottom from Sunday. Oh, again. Oh, right? <laughs> the we the we won't kill you smokery. <laughs> yeah. Why would they call it that? Well, <laughs> we walk around this plaza that I've never like. There's a bunch of pa- like plazas, like little pockets that'll be like Asian or Hispanic in LA. It's all over. Mm-hmm. And this is like an Asian plaza I've never been to. It's really cute. But there were signs all around the building that were saying. It was like all in Chinese, and then underneath the translation was "purse snatchers here, beware." <laughs> Whoa! I know that's hype. I it was not, but we were walking <laughs> around for like ten minutes, couldn't find the place. <laughs> I end up calling, and she guides me, and it literally was a secret alleyway where you have to go down. It's an <laughs> unmarked wall. I don't know if this is because of what they're doing is illegal. That's what you. I was thinking. What? Did, what did, are there no normal <laughs> walks, weed stores like, in California? There's like a sign that says like no road runners. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, she like, you, you're you on the phone. She's like, okay, yeah, look at the ground. And she opens a hatch from the pavement. <laughs> the first Dude. door is a painting. I get, in, in Seattle, <laughs> shit is like a genius bar. Dude, it's the, uh, it's the opposite. It's yeah. not like that here. I think it's because, look, and this is what I kind of piece together. It's an unmarked building. There's a buzzer. You go in. There's a first entryway with like a security guard. He checks my ID and he's like, he says like this. He's like, all right, here for your medical weed. <laughs> I'm like, sure. Yeah. I love my medical weed. And then a second door that I go through and then I'm in and it's the lady and she's like, so glad you found it. People struggle. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> so glad you recited the correct incantation. To yeah. Here. <laughs> and she goes through. She's like, OK, we have ice cream weed. We have these b- big fat doobie doobs and goes through the whole list. And I'm like, just the edible, please, ma'am. Leads me to it right next to it. The same chocolate bar Hassan had of mushrooms. So this is illegal, right? Yeah. It is not yet legal to my bl- <laughs> understanding to purchase mar- uh, just, mushrooms. Which makes whatever clear. Ludwig's you, saying parody. I'm you, allegedly talking about you've this. You've named the business. <laughs> no. I'm allegedly naming no, the business. No, it's Purse Snatchers Incorporated it's, not. Yeah, it was Acme no. Weed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the bar has Mario riding Yoshi, but Yoshi looks fucked up. And then it says one up bar because it's mushrooms. <laughs> so this, yeah. So it's like if you could buy chocolate, like hot topic. He yeah. likes it. Mushrooms. I was gonna say this yeah. is a hot topic shirt for like a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, my fucking like one up silly band, bro. Uh. <laughs> and the label's misprinted. It goes one to three because it's a bar of chocolate with like you know whatever fifteen pieces. It goes one to three pieces, and then that's like that's like microdosing. And then it says three to six, which doesn't make sense. Because they use three for both. Yeah. No, it, that makes sense. It says mm. one to no, three it micro. it should be four to six. Yes. Because yeah. then it says three no, to because, six. Because if you take three, they can they can say, oh, I took three. It's either a microdose or a like a trip. No, That's right? a okay. bad You're thing. You're actually explaining exactly why it doesn't make sense. No, but I'm saying because it's <laughs> no, different right. for everybody. And they can legally say, hey, you might it might be a microdose for you. It might be a little bit more. First of all, none of this is legal. Second of all, <laughs> to counter your argument, one to three micro three to five, like regular, three to six, regular trip. And then it's at seven to 10, uh, shamanic. So what? Like shrew manic. Wait, did they skip <laughs> six? <laughs> did they skip six? No, no, I, sorry. I it's three just... to six for the middle. <laughs> okay. And then seven. You said three to five. I was like, what happens when you take six? <laughs> yeah. Six, you fucking die. There's a, just a skull emoji. There, that's actually how uh, it, I used to read a lot of Arrowid, which was like a drug journaling website, like uh, where you just go and like, like people who like, eat toad venom right with like you lick the toad and shit just describing their drug experience and what i found with um what do you call it uh cortisedrin cough and cold you basically eat a bunch of cold pills and there are these different plateaus based on how much you eat Mm. and people would always try to get to the next one and a lot of them would like ruin their bodies and die uh but they would journal it while you know this is not being a how do they how do they journal it well not the ones that die (laughs) but basically you would (laughs) that's how hard that shit you get to a point they, they wouldn't die, but after it, they'd like say, yeah, this is the worst experience of my life and it changed me forever and I'll never be the same. 
and they'll explain everything that happened. You ever have after someone? That. You ever it's really someone, scary. Uh, actually, explain their ego death uh, yeah, experience to you. It's that kind of shit. That that shit when you haven't gone through it <clears throat> is so boring. <laughs> when someone else tells <laughs> you about, their, about it, their ego death. But some of them, some of them are great writers. Like who? Back in the day. And no, I'm just saying, like the people, people that do this. Oh, I see. They like make it. It's like riveting. <laughs> like and who? some of them are illiterate. And like, no, was, I'm, I'm saying, like your homie name Clevin. and a famed yeah, like Hemingway. ego death writer. <laughs> yeah, that's actually Hemingway. <laughs> that start. Nick, that Nick also knows from his English studies. It's, right. it's the same exact thing as when someone says, like, "Yo, you want to hear a 30 minute story about my dream last night?" Yeah, it's, that's how it feels to, yeah. to hear about someone's. It'd be some old, Mewtwo King tweet vibes. The only interesting, the only <laughs> interesting story I've ever told about a dream in my entire life was the one where Miles Teller peed on me. That's a, the most hot one you've ever had. It's a good dream. It's because it's it's concise. It gets to the point, and it had a punchline. I would love to go a week without hearing about Cutie's dream where I cheated on her. You, does she, Is that, that happening happen every week? It happens like at least once every two weeks. You you dog. All right, cheat what? on her or like. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit always happens. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're just a piece of shit. In maybe, maybe fucking stop it. Yeah, maybe. Be <laughs> you think better. about that? Yeah, huh? be loyal. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I own these bars. Allegedly, I am scared to consume them because of there are people who like my mind has never been the same after mushrooms. And my mind is great right now. It works super well for everything I do. Oh, imagine Ludwig becomes more compassionate. That'd be so tight. You I get like anxiety no, it would ruin him. It would ruin him. He'd, he'd be more he'd sensitive be a to creator. comments. Yeah, but he still he he'd already bad. has the money from YouTube. Also, we True. we allegedly took this in Italy. Yeah, but it was like such a small amount. Sure, <laughs> but you could do the same thing. Anyway, shroom episode at <laughs> yeah. However, don't, many. Don't, at twenty k. They will haunt you. They will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you down? Okay. Shroom episode you, you at fifteen. Giving me, give me a number. Twenty allegedly. Give F me a number. Fifteen. Hey, just like the first one got demonetized, so we're gonna be chill. With Video that. did well. Fifteen. 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 Fifteen thousand patrons, <laughs> and these guys will allegedly and keep, parody eat mushrooms. Will parody on stream it. or sorry, and <laughs> whatever. Archie, Archie can put like the Mario mushroom over it as an edit, and then it makes the sound when you consume it. <laughs> I think it takes a little longer to. No, kick we, in. we we, we got to eat it before the episode. Yeah. I think we it's would just magic. eat it and then chill, and then just do a three-hour recording block, and then Godspeed. Yeah, and we show you guys like some cool dinosaurs and colors. <laughs> <laughs> and every 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 like twenty minutes, me and slime stand up and just stare for like ten you minutes straight. Bring like pranks for it, like silly string. And this this happened Kenny versus Spenny, where he tricked him into taking acid, <laughs> and it's fucked up. Show. Wait, yeah. what happened here? Kenny versus Spenny. It was this old show where they like do competitions, and one was, can you keep a squid on your head the longest? And <laughs> Uh, it was like a squid from like an Asian market, right? It's a raw squid. And they both put it on. But what uh, Kenny did to his friend Spencer, who is always trying to gain the system, is he dosed his morning orange juice with LSD. <laughs> and he had this whole thing planned out where he's like, hey, bro, you should read this, bro. Because he, he, he dosed it, right? He literally showed him buying the LSD and then uh, watering it down and putting his orange juice, right? And then Dude. he drinks it an hour later. <laughs> Comes, he's like, bro, I don't feel so good. I like feel like, kind of weird. And he's like, why? They, they, he starts getting on the computer, and he's like, oh, they say like there's psychoactive effects, like in the squid ink. It's probably like seeping into your head, bro. And th there it is. <laughs> this uh, this episode scared me off bro, of hallucinogenics. Is, is this Migos? This is real. <laughs> this is fucking. I I implore everyone to watch this. This looks like on a YouTube. screenshot from a movie. It is so terrifying because squid game. it really is him going <laughs> squid, through squid the game. terror of being on a bad drug trip, which I've been on before, where you like realize that you exist and that you were born once and you haven't been born before. Or, like things change abruptly and you get scared. And this guy Kenny just he'll like fool him he dressed as a bunny and then he walked around and then he went behind a corner and then he followed him and he scared him with like a demon mask. where was this show this originally is, on you just, this uh, is just this donnie darko Comedy central <laughs> produced by the uh south park guys matt and trey oh. and it was in Kenny canada no it was yeah just a Dude, prank that show. goes way harder than i think anything that could air on comedy central today brother it was fucking crazy and i don't know how like how much they were in on it or whatever, but genuinely, he it has a terrible <laughs> acid trip, and that is not changeable. Almost that's assured awful. Awful. like he didn't completely drug him without telling him, right? I don't know, but it, at the end of the day, he had a bad time, and it's really sobering to watch. You're like, this is how it does go. It's go funny. I, I simultaneously hope it's fake and also don't. Yeah, there's a weird middle ground there. Anyway, that's what we'll do to you guys. But the yeah. first time that I took Allegedly. mushrooms, I walked in circles around a city for an entire day. 
Yeah. And that was, so that's kind of my mode when I take these. <laughs> In Amsterdam? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did so the same Amsterdam. loop and we came around for the fourth time and I was like, and I looked at the friend I was with, I was like, dude, I think we're, I think we're going in circles. <laughs> that was, I, that, and that's, I'm just like, I'm very, I'm very mellow the entire time. I never believed in a uh, stage hypnotism, but at my, uh, my like senior grad night in, in high school, they hired a hypnotist and my friend went on the stage and got hypnotized. Uh, and he, he was someone who I like kind of knew, didn't think would like fake it up there. Uh, yeah. Like just knowing him. And he fucking fell asleep, did all that shit that you're, that you're like supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. Got a boner. And then, uh, yeah, got a boner, started showing everyone was sick. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, uh, after grad night, the next day, I talked to him, and uh, he's like, I'm in San Francisco right now. And it was, it was like nine hours later. Like, this is like, this is like the next <laughs> morning. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, why? He's like, I don't know. I just, the second grad night was over, I drove here. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I, I had nothing to do here, dude. And he just went there, and I'm like, maybe this shit's fucking real. I, but it's been so long now, where I think it's worn off again. I think I don't believe it anymore. It, we it, get a it is, it is real, but it's it doesn't work the way it does in like uh, yeah, that's in why it's movies a stage and shit. hypnotism. Yeah, you have to like you have to accept that you're going to be hypnotized for it to work. You can't like. But be I've like, heard. Oh, they can't look, hypnotize big, me. Big hypno then, has been saying this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I have no way. To, I, I don't have the research to confirm that that's true. That's just what I've always heard. Why don't too. we just get a hypnotist? We get, we hire a hypnotist and we hypnotize Amen on stream on. I don't video. think I would be open suggestion. No, Amen. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Uh, Amen would be open. Yeah, you hit. would like shut it down. Like you would specifically be the worst hypnotist person. I'd be like, well, actually, so. Uh, yeah, you'd be pushing up your glasses. The, showing him the thing that I, I watched a bunch of uh stage hypnotism at this like uh county fair we used to have and uh and the person would do this like activation thing at the end where you tell the person who's hypnotized that like when i say this like key phrase you will do this action and then after they're awake again and like normal you can say the word still like or not uh I I don't know if it's necessarily anybody I think it like has to be like her or somebody with a similar voice but she'll say the word and like snap like she sets it up and then they will do the thing on reaction and you can see some of them like fight it for a sec and like be like why the fuck do I want to do this and it's a really weird uh phenomena but it, but it's probably not real it this only lasts also, for like a yeah. couple weeks right here is the closest we've ever gotten to being Joe Rogan podcast <laughs> talking about shrooms and hypnotists yeah, yeah it's pretty close let's We're... get a little closer coinbase <laughs> <laughs> how's it going everybody coinbase.com forward slash the yard your one-stop shop for your crypto needs if you guys want to download it with the, the little website there you get ten dollars in bitcoin free um anyway you know coinbase yeah. is cool they've been nice what's sponsors. the code, what's he the said code? It right it's, it's coinbase.com forward slash the yard oh that one yeah it's okay. a website not like, it's not like a code you get $10 in Bitcoin free. You know, it's just how it works. 10 Bitcoin free. And you get 100 Bitcoin for free. That is 10 US dollars, depending. Several hundred thousand dollars deposited to your account for free, man. And that's not a joke. Anyway, you know, hey, our our, our only sponsor we got chugging along these days. Hey, we and we appreciate that. So, yeah, check them out. Check them out. Appreciate it. Give them some love. You always clock right in for the ad read. I'm clocked in every day, dude. dude. Okay, but that's the thing. Oh uh, no, you're not. No, he he is. But when you clock in for the podcast, I I just want f I want him all to myself. I want full strength, uh, uh, nine nine psilocybin doses. No, Ludwig. you don't. Yes, if I, I do. If I'm that, then you then then this is what you do in response. I like I'll do that. I'll be content. You'll be like. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, well, boys, that's not true. That's not true. I, is, dude, I you're was saying I love, that your maximum uh, this effort has evolved so dude, far. Your slime of Ludwig <laughs> is better than slime's Ludwig. I went to an alleyway and I got some psilocybin. <laughs> Don't point and laugh. So there, it's that's like, so funny. I, I, as it's like gone down, it's, it's like, like there's more and more shoulder movement. <laughs> it's more dance move than an actual yeah, impersonation. It's not, even, it's not Do even the a Ludwig. real human being anymore. It's, <laughs> Do what? Do the Ludwig. Oh, My man. dance move now. Yeah, you're saying that your highest level of, of effort is that guy? No, I'm saying that's, yeah. I think, well, that's like, that's what. I when I turn when I turn on ad read mode, sure, yeah. No, I'm just saying. I guess I'm not explaining myself properly. At what point are you? Is it TikTok time, or is it 
This is this is mogul money. This is I'm on. I'm on the fucking ball. Or TikTok time where you're kinda like morning boss and you clock in and you leave a little early. <laughs> I thought I understood what he was saying. I don't anymore. Yeah, what he's saying I... is he's like, what is the level of production you need to have like the performance you put on for a mogul money versus to get the, the nine to fiver of, of a unusual memes, which is just kind of like an easy cash grab video. Versus mogul mail. Versus mogul mail. But I, to be honest, I actually I don't like think mogul. there's that much of a difference. It's more so just what I have to work with and what I can bounce off of in mogul money. Interesting. And I, what I have to work with in a TikTok time is a few TikToks. So what you, your plus or minus of, a, of your like ability, would you say, is like 5%? Like, like you're... At any moment, you are 5% or 5% I would better. say I'm always at 120. Sometimes I just go to 150. So, so it's over 30%. 100 all the time. We, his, just, his, we just take those down to a normal number and actually yeah. make sense. So, yeah. Okay. His cadence, your cadence and engagement always feels pretty the same, regardless of what you're doing. In, in when you're making a YouTube video, mm -hmm. to be clear. Ever since this weekend, I've just been thinking about Ludwig's role in the podcast and what it means to him mm. without asking him. And that's what I do. <laughs> it is, yeah. And, and next yeah. week, I'll have a really strong opinion formed <laughs> about it. And I will it. tell it to and him. The and Ludwig then I'll tell it to him. And, then, me and then the week after that, I'll apologize to Ludwig. And everything will be good. Oh, you want to talk about the uh, bands? Well, oh, yeah, yeah. What the fuck's going on? Wait, that's what? what I have How down there. How could you keep Number getting three bands, is React. The bands on YouTube have been rampant. I've been like... It's not actually band. banned. What the fuck's going on, Ludwig? So, I, I don't know. This this became a trending news story in my home city of Nashua, New Hampshire, where I was born. It was number one over the COVID deaths. <laughs> Wait, for what? that day? For that day, Is course. it like local Nashua superstar gets yeah, it's banned just from like YouTube? Local, it was basically like YouTube signs, or Ludwig signs with YouTube, <laughs> and then do immediately gets banned. Picture of you as a little kid. You're like wearing a cowboy hat, pissing on a fence. It's like, this is our guy. <laughs> they must explicitly say you're from Nashua. I think it's probably in the article. I didn't read it that I'm from New Hampshire. But anyway, it's it's become like a top post on LSF the two times it happened or three times or whatever. And uh, and and apparently created a little bit of disturbances in the force for YouTube. Yeah. Because it even got all the way up to Susan. Susan. Susan was like, Susan Wojak. Are we good here? <laughs> like, did we ban the guy that we paid a shit ton of money or... Yeah, what happened with that? Because it's not actually a ban, but I keep phrasing it as a ban, and then everyone else keeps phrasing it as a ban. Because uh, I thought it was at first. But basically what happened... I mean, it says you're banned, right? It says this content is like it's been suspended or something. Okay. And then you can't go live while the suspension Here's is Here's what on, I found right? out, and now I have all the knowledge because I talked to my YouTube guy, great guy. And what I found out is if I am watching something that is copywritten, a yellow warning will pop up, and it'll be like, boy, if you don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like an alert. If you don't, and if I don't, a message will pop up that says like stream suspended. That message, if I turn off the content, will only be there for two minutes. So you can just pop it back on. Pop it'll, the stream back on. And then it'll go away. I could end stream and restart, or I could just let it run two minutes. Oh, it'll literally like commercial go away. break. Everyone stare at the fun screen. It's basically minutes. a fun <laughs> commercial break screen. Uh, and so I, I basically will now, if I want to react to stuff. If I see the yellow message come up, I have to go like full screen and make some Cody Co jokes or something. And I can, I can, I can no longer. I don't think I can do what XQC or Stans or Trainwrecks do. The three bigs of Twitch. <laughs> the three. I cannot <laughs> three watch Hell's Kitchen. Pillars of reacting. Watch, yeah. <laughs> I can't watch Hell's Kitchen or Master Chef uninterrupted for like episodes in a row. Yeah, which you never really did, I guess. Which is kind of funny because it's no. like you. I, I don't know. Does this? I, I think someone you made a joke where you were like, "Yeah, I gotta like make better content." I guess. Boo. So this yeah. it, it doesn't apply to short term, short form content like TikToks or like if you're watching. What if you were watching like, say you're watching a Wendover Productions YouTube video? <laughs> so could you get flagged? I don't know. That's what I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna do an unlisted stream and I'm gonna test and okay. I'm just gonna go through shit I would watch. But like a summoning salt video, no, it was chill. Okay. But a Kurzgesagt video, yeah, got hit. Which I was surprised by. I was not so surprised by by um, you know, okay, here it goes, a music video or Baby Shark or like an Ariana Grande video. I'm not surprised by those. Yes, those shouldn't be surprising. Uh, but it's more like I will just have to look at the warnings and then play around. It wow, is basically a more robust system on YouTube that detects things really well, and then Twitch is like still like 
pew, pew, wild, wild west. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> we're going to mute the VOD, so think about that. Yeah, because Twitch has to be caught manually. Yes. But YouTube creates a, a content IDs. Which is changing because the VOD reviews are automatic on Twitch. So automatically, record companies will go through all the VODs. That's for music. That's for music, but it can also be for visuals. It oh, can really? also be for YouTube videos, yeah. And um, eventually, they will have a system in place to check live stuff. Like, almost assuredly. Like, record companies will come for their comeuppance. You should get Zipper to make you a giant button, and it's like your alarm button. It's like Metal Gear when the guards are, like, looking for you, and you hit it when the yellow thing goes up. <laughs> and you have to, like, <laughs> back up. You have to, like, hide in a box <laughs> until it's over. I think the idea is to make it seamless. Because if you make it, like, an overt thing, then it ruins the no, experience. No, sh shame. Shame. Shame them. I should go full screen and then just chill and talk until and it goes away. Hide in a away. box and play the music. Yeah, uh, I like the box. And idea. I dress up as like a YouTube cop, and I'm like looking for you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ah, fuck, he's like gone. I dubs content cop. Yes, it's like and that. And then sometimes, know, yes. sometimes like one in five times, he finds you and he shoots you with your paintball gun. But then you can strap C4 to my back and kill me. Like this is metal just gear. Metal that gear. seems yeah. disproportionate. And then you get a call from Susan on the codec. <laughs> what, are we, what are you doing? The end result of <laughs> all this like snake? <laughs> is, I, I think if I'm surmising it, is Baby reacting shark. is worse on YouTube, <laughs> but there is no punishment like there is on Twitch. Right. You, yeah, it's just like, hey, sh stop it. Fucking stop you it. You just get a little smooch. The punishment on <laughs> Twitch is like three times your banned, and then the punishment on YouTube is... It's and a, here's my window. It's a smooch. It would be crazy if you could sign, get paid, and then like play Baby Shark three times and be perma band, and they're just like nothing we can do. <laughs> it's automatic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it anymore. Content ID doesn't yeah. fuck around. The, the thing ba is, you the know. Baby Shark is at the head of the table. Yeah, just slamming it with its baby fists. Speaking of guests, like Susan, uh, one of our past guests, Stavros, <gasps> Come Down Podcast, dude, dude. He, uh, do you know? Did you read this? Yeah, I, I opened it. We I, didn't know who this was from. Yeah, let me read this out. And so here's what happened. We had a package on our counter, and it said warm wishes, and it read like this. To my beloved yard house and cutie, any group of pals that's at least partially uncircumcised is my no, kind of group. No, no, read how he wrote it. Okay, any... <laughs> I was like, wait, did he write that? At, at least partially, and then it's... It says uncirked. Yeah, it, it, it is uncirked. <laughs> Uh, which I, you know, I'll translate. Enjoy these cookies my mom and I made as penance for telling Lud's mom to go fuck herself. But if she needs more of an apology, I'm happy to take her out too. Winky face. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Xmas. And then it is the letter S and then squiggles. Squiggles. Yeah. And we didn't know who this was. We, we yeah, thought me this and Ludwig were trying to crack it. Fran, who suddenly got our address and was making a weird joke about my mother. Until I found out it was Stav, which blew my mind. That Stavros was baking cookies with his mother and then did this. It's like the sweetest thing it you could imagine. It's so that sweet. Man. And this is like your card from like the store. Like yeah. it's just, there's a snowman. Yeah. There's no yeah, dick like involved. It's, it's just handwritten. A, it's just a nice it's card. It's a nice yeah. message. It's a nice gesture. It's a lot of cookies. Like it to say. It's not like he sent us yeah. three cookies. And they're good. Yeah. It's not like he bulk made for a bunch of people either. Like this is how many cookies you would make if you baked with yeah. your mother. It's yeah. such an insane It was so up. nice. And me, I was still sus about it. I was like, maybe he laced them. Yeah, I thought that too. <laughs> maybe they yeah, got weak. So me and Eamon were like the ba the for slime. The backstory was that I I woke up and I saw the package from him. And I was like, it said, it said to the yard sluts and I was like oh I'm gonna open this but I have to leave right now so I went and I opened it in my car like while I was like about to go and I was like oh wait this is like this is for like every I want everyone to see this yeah but yeah. I thought it was funnier if oh, I so you knew if I kept the box and just put them on the counter and waited for them to be found me, me and Ludwig is conducted an investigation <laughs> yeah, of yeah. like asking each other like what's this that's yeah. Why I, yeah I didn't post a, like a tweet about it or anything yeah. either because I was like I want them to find it yeah that's uh, cool very sweet thank that's you Stavros so nice. thank you Stav hearts for Stavros yeah, the, I don't care what they say yeah. really good not doing that shit he, I mean he didn't come on the pod more like Ted where the fuck are our cookies at Ted that's true Ted, Ted, no, Ted sent Amy merch sent me merch Oh, he, he sent, chilled he sent me for he his own him. merch. Yeah. Didn't send okay, me. how about wait, some milk or something? He invited he... me to a Halo server too. Really? Yeah. yeah and you, didn't you say? Wait. What? <laughs> did what did you what happened when you went? Oh, on the I server? said I played with them once, and they were like playing like zero gravity energy swords in private match only. And you're like, I'm a bit busy. And I was like, I thought we were gaming. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. It turns out the Minecrafters hey, look, don't game. And round one, I'll say, was fun. Round one, it was like just wacky Wild West. Everyone's flying over the map. It was fun. They're like, you guys want to run it like all night? 
I was like, holy shit, you guys are crazy. You showed up to the kid's birthday party with your full paintball gear. <laughs> you're, you're like, like pinning the tail is harder than I thought on this donkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I was tight. Dude, I so I, I, here's the thing about the React world. Uh-huh. Do you think that... So Stan's... <laughs> I watched Stan's stream today, and he's just watching Hell's Kitchen. And I'm like, Stan's, you're better than Hell's Kitchen. But... If he was on you, no, like, he's not. No, I Wait. I think he is. Wait, I'm not better on, than Hell's on. Kitchen. When you say that, do you mean his content is better than Hell's Kitchen, or he should be watching something better? He no, should be no. reacting his to things better is than better Hell's better Kitchen. Than just watching and reacting oh, to Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, he can do better. He can do but better. There is certainly no creator who's making better content than what Hell's Kitchen is. <sighs> okay, that's a take. I, I see. That is insane. No creator on Twitch? No live streamer? Hell's Kitchen is... beats everything no. that Twitch can do. E-buy. I think so. E-buy. E-buy once every fucking two months, maybe. But honestly, like, Hell's Kitchen's a fire show. You have one of the best chefs in the world who's, like, a ex like exuberant personality. Dude, you're, t you're telling me fucking Subway Sunday by Prezzo isn't better than Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Eat fresh. Eat fresh, bro. It's, it's not. <laughs> Dude, okay. I am saying that I think the, 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 the heat that you're getting from your new system that makes it a bit harder to be a React and Andrew is kind of a good thing because it can encourage people to not just watch Hell's Kitchen for an hour or two or yeah. three or four or five. However, if people are just want to watch people watch Hell's Kitchen, who am I to say anything that's when, what people want to watch let me tell you dan's gets his youtube deal he'll have to figure this out x is averaging like 80k right now i think he boots up hell's kitchen master chef 110 120 are you kidding me he's like what? it's like a 50 all right bump. that's it wait he why? solved the game why is he, he allowed to do this because twitch is still wild wild west live streaming doesn't have like live content id systems that pick this up and then Shut it down. They don't have so, the infrastructure to say, "All right, X, you can't watch Hell's Kitchen," because then they have to go to everyone doing that and stop them. But there, it's they too many it people. Yet, yeah, and YouTube can do it automatically. That's right. They, they turn everything, everything you upload into ones and zeros, and then it goes mm -hmm. and finds those ones and zeros. Almost assuredly, it will come. Like the live content moderation will come. He's on his Papa John's shit. <laughs> the day of reckoning. Will the day come. of reckoning will come. The YouTube switch was a good. He's thing been for eating me. a pizza every <laughs> single day, bro. I've discovered one thing from the switch that kind of shocked me is how many people simp and defend and have a twitch as a huge part of their identity and are very quick to defend twitch in like platforms you're talking about Amazon. as a viewer or as a streamer i'm obviously both but what Viewers. are you talking about right i now? think there's still like a belief out there that twitch is one of us like as which gamers, is crazy which is crazy they are well okay I, I think again corporate like media heads have always been like yeah you don't get you don't get it Right, and that can be said for like YouTube or Twitch or like anyone who's running these these platforms. Yeah, but I think Twitch is in particular because it's always been gaming focused. Probably gets treated a little bit differently than like a YouTube by the viewer base. I think yeah. there are... is this we a weird underlying idea that Twitch is cool in a way that a lot like, of I think, other media I think, like, platforms Discord, and companies are not. Discord like still has it. Yeah, where like people yeah. are like, yeah, Discord. That's like that's our in people. their cutie cutie wumpus way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wumpus also agrees with the Batez sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Wumpus thinks that it's a good Wumpus thing to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Wumpus thinks they need to catch up to the first world nations. <laughs> <laughs> Wumpus on drone strike. I, I like how ahead of the the bar we were because we talked about how that was a problem like on the fourth episode, the World Cup. Yeah. And yeah. we were like, that's kind of fucked up, huh? And then we like, as a yard, we're like, yeah. And then we like went off into our world. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's just kind of, because my friend, uh, who's, he's actually one of my favorite Ludwig clips, you know, Stop Nice, you know, Stop Nice, obviously. He, he, was, <laughs> he, was in, he was in Ludwig's old, old stream, like double digit, triple digit. And he would give, <laughs> oh, fuck. dude, he gave, Ludwig was closing the stream and he donated like five bits. And <laughs> he's like, uh, thank you for the five bits. Stop Nice says, Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and then yeah. he closed stream. And uh, and that Sub Nice is also someone who would go into like my chat or something and be like, hey, this is a really funny video that you're watching. What are your thoughts on the drone bombing of Yemen? <laughs> Yeah. And it's so funny that that What's happened. What's up, long-time viewer, first-time donator? <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to ask you a quick question. How do you feel about drone strikes in Yemen? Yeah, and it, it, that it happened unironically in that clip, which I just think is so funny. It's, I, I sent it for to him. For the uninitiated, the clip is the Botez sisters chess players who are in Dubai for the World Chess Championship by FIDE that's happening right now. And they just fielded a question from chat. 
that was like, what do you have to say about the United Arab Emirates using slave labor? And they replied to it. What did they say? I didn't watch the clip. Basically, they were like, hey, you can criticize them, but this is the exact labor that made first world countries what they are today. Plus, like, the penal labor system <laughs> in America, like, the prison labor system is basically slave labor, too. And it was like, it, like, great point, but, like, you're still saying, it, so it's okay It was to weirdly slavery. saying, like, it's I, fine. I don't know but if not I would really, say but, great point. You know what <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a fair point that there is slave labor happening in the U.S. Oh, yeah. And so we should be critical of both. But it was more using it as a deflection of the slave labor happening in the Dubai rather than being like, let's be critical of both slave yeah, labor. Yeah, I also it's think so I, easy to say it's wrong. It's it is. <laughs> not. It's probably not easy if you're in Dubai. UAE also not really a developing country. Yeah, that was another big a criti critical point. You on... just shouldn't feel the question. You go home and then you say, "Man, they're fucking." That's crazy. They use slave labor because you probably can't say it there. I mean, there's a lot of rules. Yeah, you can't yeah, drink absolutely. There. You can't swear there. There's like a lot really? of rules. I didn't know that. There's like they're you can drink, though. but there's like closed or like uh, there's there, it's really restrictive about where you can do it. And that's easing up from how it used to be yeah. because they have to like the, I, I think there's a lot of like rules that they have to sort of like loosen up and like grapple with if they want to become hubs for business and tourism, like globally, because like these countries were so dependent on oil for so long and they need to introduce like new things to get away from that. So it's like, well, the tourists aren't going to come here if they can't get fucked up. So we have <laughs> to like at, at least no, like, I, have some lenience around. The fort, it's the fort I mean, we're all like this. And it's like, is oil whack? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I, I love oil tourism. I just go to different countries and try their Should oil. Should we renew energy? I was, just, I was so surprised they they read it, and I was like, uh, the the same day, I was like, damn, the morning paper, because I've been calling live stream fail the morning paper. Oh, okay. oh I'm like, my more, god, more, morning paper's a little spicy today, yeah, and then I, sometimes it has our dad in it. Yeah, yeah. dad's in the paper. Sometimes, sometimes dad's in the paper, and then I scrolled down a bit, and then there's one that that thread with that clip was like had a shit ton of votes but then there was one below it that had even more i'm like Ooh, what's this the sony a vp at sony mm. oh! got caught on a pedo hunter live stream which yeah. is yeah which is wearing a ps5 we're shirt. wearing a ps5 shirt which is crazy oh my god the logs are absurd <laughs> that's that's almost that's the, that's that's the, almost the pedophiles the five <laughs> <laughs> what, what the logs for? literally are, and I'm not exaggerating. Oh, it's like 55 year old oh, the man. Logs, the logs are so bad. 55 year old man who works at Sony being like, "Hey, you like sucking and getting sucked." And then the person replying being like, "I am 15." And he's and like, then, "Damn, really? <laughs> so which one?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, and that's actually what the logs are like. No, that's dude. the thing. He's the the dude asked him. He's like, "Are you really 15?" And then the person's like, "Yes." And then he just plows on with the conversation, and it's like. Dude, that's crazy. It must be yeah. five. If I may, I mean, it must be tough know, to be a pedophile and a moron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you 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 should be crafty by trade. But... <laughs> oh, you know, because all those pesky pedophile geniuses we got running around. <laughs> I, I, I was. Just... Yeah, they did Little Big Planet so dirty, bro. Yeah, nothing to do with this. <laughs> they did put him in there, bro. Leave him out of it. <laughs> this is why there will never be another Little Big Planet. <laughs> <laughs> we will never get a sequel That's to that fucking, game. You know the, the the it's the darkest part of that is like, damn, this guy has been doing this. No, exactly. You know? That's that's what it's that's what fucked. makes you think about right. Because like this guy has so much money and so much like power in his like career and shit, and he's probably been fucking doing this for a long time. That's so yeah. Fucked. It's really dark. So is he? he I didn't read it. Is he gonna get like arrested? Or is he, he got charged? Fired. Out he of got fired already. All right, it took like less. Imagine, than a day. <laughs> imagine PlayStation's like whoa 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 whoa. <laughs> they're, they're whoa. Like, we're like we're investigating the situation. So, yeah. Sony we're Sony like releases a, pr a a statement. They're like, we're gonna feel it out. Hey, <laughs> turns out <laughs> turns out the text messages were actually from a twenty seven year old man faking being a fifteen year old. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he hasn't done so anything. It's cool. So chew on that. Yeah, yeah chew on that. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, I mean, look, Sony has destroyed Xbox in the wars. They like they all they need to do is not have a major fuck Maybe up it was a coup. Ring. Maybe it was a maybe it was oh, a plant from an Microsoft. In, an inside job. Maybe it was Billiam Gate, and he <laughs> pretended to be a boy. Don't bring Billiam Gate. And Billiam to take down Sonus decided to do it. I really think I want to get you for Christmas just like a definition of Occam's razor, and just. <laughs> I still don't know what, what, it is, means. what is that. What is that? I don't know. What that is. It's, just, it's when the worst thing can happen. No. I don't know. What no, this that's is. a different thing. All right, Occam boys, let's go to the next segment here. Because this we'll is actually talk. leaked, so we can talk about it now. What happened? We'll talk what about is? it later. My biggest Smash tournament ever. 
Oh, sure. It's <laughs> looked the at the hypothetical like, name. On. Hold. Oh, yeah, you did leak it. You it's piece leaked. of shit. You leaked the name? Yeah, I, I leaked wait, it. Wait, how? I leaked it on another pod. Oh, you just say it? You just yeah. said it? On I said another it. pod? I oh, pod? so it was a strategic leak. Yeah. It was like when Disguised Toast said that you who, smother baby who, ducks who's to pod? get a boner. Who's what? <laughs> when he t- when you admitted that. I didn't. No, he admitted. I like, no, this, I like this guy's that, toast name, by the way. You did that. I never said that. I like his name. Do you know what it's from? Uh, no. I just like that it says th- this guy's toast. Yeah, it's cute. Oh! That's because that's what they would say in Hearthstone. It was a character's voice line. It, he would say, this guy's oh, really? toast. But it sounds like this guy's toast. I, I didn't, didn't know, know what it was from, but I, I realized the play on words. I didn't know that. This is my finding out about like uh, the three legendary birds. Spanish numbers in their names. Oh, right. This yeah. is my oh. version of that. Uno, dos, oh, tres. Anyway, go That's on. so sick. I didn't know so that. So I, I leaked it. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Also, hey, uh, muck hey, backwards. Hitmon Lee, Hitmon so. Chan, <laughs> Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. Dude, you tell me you knew that. I know, I only knew the Hitmon Lee one. You know oh, about, you knew that one. Hey, you, yeah. know about, you know about muck backwards? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's like hey, it's like I'll see you on Penn Island, it's like bro. My comp. <laughs> I'll see you Yo, on Penn it's Island. Like my comp. You, so you leaked the fucking what podcast did you leak it on? It was by on the way. Hassan's we gotta have a talk about this event. It was on Hassan's podcast, and I and I leak it the, here for people who don't. Have I leaked the it. name. So basically, I want to make the biggest Smash tournament ever in terms of prize pool and entrance for melee and ultimate. And the hypothetical name, and let me know. This is not locked in, obviously. Drum roll. Is Sawcon? I love it. Why is it Sawcon? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what's the name come from? You're so off the podcast. We're going to have a lot of, uh, you know, booths with different types of saws. It's actually saws. it's celebrating the, the beloved movie franchise of traps and murder. <laughs> we should have a, a saw trap there. <laughs> One <laughs> smasher room. will die. Yeah. We kill somebody rit- ritualistically at SawCon every year. Mm-hmm. Like That's the Romans. so sick. Mm-hmm. Like the Romans did. Dude, okay. And we are going to glaze right by that and talk about how Slime has been, like, talking about how much he loves Roman history and how it's he's been actually, reading about it. I think it's one of the funniest okay. things you've ever done. Okay, this is this is oh <laughs> this god, is the exact it's conversation. So, we've already talked about this. We've we talked about like not we talked happened? about this happening with other things. What where Anthony, Anthony will spend time what like happened? discrediting or shitting on something and then fall <laughs> down some multi-hour YouTube rabbit hole about it and then think it's the coolest thing ever. I didn't ever so, discredit for, for those Rome. who are wondering. So, for those who are so, wondering, we all went to fucking Italy recently. <laughs> Slime left early because he was God. like, Italy sucks and everyone here is dumb and no, I hate we it. Went, we, went to no. we went to Florence and we went to Rome. The first part of the trip was Florence. And on the last day after we recorded the podcast, Anthony left. He left home early. Which he I planned to do. He didn't explore Rome at at all, except for like the hour we had on the, at the train station. Yeah, the only the thing way. I explored was eight. But then body. fucking this week's Blues Clues episode went over Rome, and he watched it all, and he went like, "Hey, Rome's kind of sick as fuck. I think it's cool now." Dude, you know what happened? He asks me. He's like, "Okay, yeah, who's Remus's brother?" Like testing me because I said I learned all this. And I'm like Romulus. I went to the hill that he threw the spear on, <laughs> which that I was started like, <laughs> all of Rome. And, and I was like, like oh. "That's so sick, <laughs> really." Yes. Oh my god, we spent we went on tours. We listened to a woman talk about this for hours. Well, you didn't tell me that you weren't the on the tour. This, was actually so spear. delightful. It was a delightful tour. If we would have told you, it still wouldn't have mattered because you'd already be gone. Yeah. No oh. shit. I don't know. Basically, it was funny. I, I would have. I. I don't know if I would have stayed. See, that's how much I hate traveling. So, so give me a break, Fair all right? Enough. But I like Rome now, and I'm a history buff. I'm a history guy. It was cool. It was so. Uh, it was so funny. <laughs> and then hearing, I watched Gladiator hearing last them night. talk about it. it at the table last night because Ludwig was regurgitating the facts like back at him, but Ludwig had learned all these things by reading a Wikipedia article about the Colosseum. Well, minutes I, before I, one I of her tours. At Wikipedia, but oh, then she, it, wait, did he check me minutes before? No, 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 no. Minutes before no, no, one of the no. tours. What happened is we were, oh, we were going yeah. on a tour. Our tour guide, like, there was a miscommunication. So I thought I was going to learn all, all of it and then give everyone a tour. And then, so I just basically consumed a bunch yeah, of knowledge. Why did you think that was going to happen? No, because we, 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 no, we, we were late for the tour. There was actually a world where our tour guide okay. like, Miscommunication. We up. don't think our tour guide is coming up. Oh, he, so you're, he pulls up the Wikipedia article and he's like, I'm going to read about Rome. And then on, and then we didn't end up needing it. 
tour guide ends up showing up anyway. She asks us questions like during during the things. Like, do any of you know Bleh. what's the original name of the Coliseum? And yeah. I would be like, oh, it was actually called the Flavian Coliseum because yeah. the Flavian and, Dynasty created and she, it. And she's yeah. like, wow, wow, so good. And, he, and we're all like, he read that like 15 <laughs> minutes ago. So wait, like, this is only our crew, right? This wasn't strangers yeah. in this group. Okay, yeah. that's that's what threw me off. Oh. I, was, I was imagining a bunch of like oh. tourists from around the world no. in Ludwig's like, all right, well, no. all right, how is everyone doing? Let's get into it. <laughs> no, I think all I right, retained a lot more of it because I read shit on Wikipedia all the time. Yeah. But then also hearing it from someone else and seeing it, I was like, it was like actually a really good way to learn if you can have that privilege. Dude, it's like lore, <laughs> but it's like really happened. Yeah. It's very it's cool. Like, Rome history is cool. is cool. Rome is cool. I like but, history now. So so in <laughs> Italy, I, I there's a there's a few countries in Europe, Italy being one of them, where I think you, there's sort of this notable idea that there are certain types of like scams or like pit pockets that uh, pickpockets that might happen in certain areas and things. You know, and and, and Sweden, not one of the countries you would typically associate <clears throat> with this. One of the nights that I was out there, we were getting back really late to the hotel that we were staying at, and everybody was like pretty drunk. And I was in the front of the cab that we had got back, and um, uh, the the currency they they use there is uh like krona or like crowns they usually say, Kroner. and they uh the conversion is like ten crowns is like one dollar. Why don't they use euros? Uh, cause the all the Nordic countries are like only partially in the EU. What is Nordic? Like, like Finland, like Sweden, Sweden, Norway, right? Norway. Got it. And Denmark. Thank you. No. History buff, yes. Amen. No. And not Denmark. Only no. those three. Okay. Uh, actually, maybe Denmark's Nordic, but it's not Scandinavian. N- Finland is not Scandinavian. I don't know, man. Finland. Well, they, they, use, they use kroner. They use, they kroner. use like kroner. kroner. Hey, That's kroner. funny. Hey, but hey, commenter. I'm, in, I, I'm like don't falling tell us. asleep we'll look it up on after. this ride home. Don't it's like three thirty, three thirty four in the morning. And uh, the the meter is like going up while we drive like fucking normal, right? And we pull up to the hotel, and I like open my eyes, and I see this guy. He picks up the thing that like charges the cash, and it says it says like two hundred two hundred kroner on it, like with some cents or whatever the fuck their cents are. He deletes it, and then he types in the same number but adds two zeros, so it is twenty thousand kroner. And fifty nine like cents, two thousand dollars. Yes, two thousand. And this is something you can pay with like your tap card, right? Like presumably, I'm going like to tap my card Starbucks and get out, or something. and then that'll be the end of it. And I look at it, and I look at him, and I'm like, the ride was twenty thousand crowns, and he's like, uh, and he types it all back out, and then types in the correct amount again, wow. and I pay. And I knew it wasn't like a mistake or a fuck up because he still added the same amount of cents on the end, which is so egregious. Because like, does the, fit, <laughs> yes, does the, does yes, the fucking five dollars matter at that point? And I was so surprised. I was just like, damn, I this is the only ride the whole weekend that we didn't like take a train or Uber where like the uh, the fees fixed. And he tried to charge me two thousand dollars for the cab ride. You. Wow. Yeah. I wish you got scammed. Really? You wish I yeah, got scammed because of the sweater you bought. What sweater did you buy? He would have deserved it. And he knows that. Oh, that one. That a- one. Anyway, that's crazy. They should have gone. He got greedy. Like 2,000 kroners. Yeah, I think at least been take like, a zero off, yeah, bro. Or, or jack it up. Like, I don't know. Make it. Yeah, you're right. Like, maybe a couple hundred more. My card gets declined if I just. That's what I was saying. That's what. That's what. Would uh, it have gone through? Your yeah. card? Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> it would have. <laughs> Yeah, they know. They That'd know about so Eamon. Funny. At the I think bank. that's his destroyed. read on it. Is like, oh, it's like drunk tourist. Uh, might be able Eamon to charge back with a much. Balenciaga Fortnite sweatshirt. Like, yeah, that's why, dude. You were <laughs> flexing. Did not You're a, a piece of did shit. Not have my Fortnite. You think Balenciaga they're gonna try to scam me? They're gonna be like, damn, this guy's probably. They lower it on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> needs, like, this guy looks like help. Hitman video game. I'm not gonna do shit to him. And Stewie 2K was on my flight home. Yes, Stewie 2K was on your flight. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I was saying you were telling me about that flight home, and I was like, we would lose a land to your flight. Yeah, there was like so many Stewie good Stewie 2K players. fallen. No, <laughs> they're all on the he flight. He hasn't back. seen me on Mirage, bro. You're right. Stewie he hasn't 2K? seen you. He has right. not we'll seen never you on Mirage. See you on Mirage. <laughs> That's not true. He could see me. He will never see you on Mirage. <laughs> He'll never play that. Yeah, you might, you might cue into each other. I'm a gold Similar medal Yolo. globe <laughs> trotter. Okay, it's true. we beat Sean Gerns. That's right, Sean Gerbs. We kind of, we 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 kind of danced on him. That's right. I think we danced if on the If you guys want to see some old yard lore, look up the Golden of a Go- Globetrotters, and we, we get some pretty funny clips. 
It's three commentators versus five of us. Yeah, it's us at a uh, a CSGO event that has a lot of really good teams at it and a lot of really good storylines, and it has more views than Grand Finals. Yeah. Yeah, it was the most watched YouTube video of that the is, whole event. That SEO. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I was going to add, okay, I need some help, fellas. What? Because... What, Ludwin under? You know Christmas is coming up, and... <laughs> Ludwig has to use his brain. Yes! Ludwig has to think! This is only he for you. He has to think this for is once, only, this dude. Is, this is, you did say something really funny. So Ludwig's having trouble because he needs to get presents. I told him, I was like... He told me and Amy, he's like, I got you guys jobs. And we were like, yes, sir. Yeah, like, we I, don't care. I'm very, to be clear, I'm very happy with that. But Nick was Great. like, I care. You can't get out of this. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't care about your guys' gifts. Because oh, oh. you'll take whatever I get you. Yeah, yeah. The larger concern you the baseball game. I have funny. is QT Cinderell. Who she is has not been easy. dogging me to get her a cat. Here's the thing. She's been <gasps> goosing for a cat. She's so right. I'm team QT on this all the way. Are you? I am. Why? I back her up on this every time. Because cats are cute. Cats oh, well, are cute. Durs needs a friend. Uh, Swift is half an animal in terms of personality. <laughs> so, <laughs> fair, um, fair. Uh, oh, my God. That is and, so and, what a roast. I, Swift Twitter going insane right now. <laughs> I will take care of this cat some of See, the time. See, that's what I don't want is because I know yeah, you. She ate. admitted to me. She... She told me this. He doesn't... So a big part of why he doesn't want to get this animal is because he knows I will spend more time with it than him and it will love me you more than Ludwig. selfish bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And that, he doesn't want that. And, and it, I kept bringing this up to him. I was like, that's funny. And he's like, no, that's really why. Like, I don't want the cat to love someone more than me, which is crazy because you're not capable of love or receiving And it. you also... <laughs> yeah, so that's actually what I was just going to say too. <laughs> yeah. Is that... You seemingly don't care if anyone loves you except yeah. for this animal. I want this cat to love me. Well, and I don't want it to love Eamon. Well, why don't you what? just keep it with you all the time? Like, carry it in a little bag. That'd be cute. It's just going to be... <laughs> look, am I, I told her, I was like, how about we just wait until we live in our separate home, and then I yeah. will get a cat, you know? And I kind of want a dog, honestly. I want a dog, too. I want a pit bull. Yeah. But you wouldn't... <laughs> would you get one now? He's hard to book. I, could, so. I wouldn't get one now because it would probably eat Swift. Yeah, that's yeah. So point. we should get. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, dude! He hasn't pooped outside in like seven poops. Yeah, he's he on poops a in the kitchen poop every day. Vibe right now. It's like he. I want to. You know how you beat Swift? You walk in, he barks at you, even though you live here, pay rent. Some of us, and you walk in, and he barks. You got to bark at him louder. You say no, yeah. and you bark, and he shuts. He up. stops. He does stop good. barking. Yeah, yeah, and that's how you beat. Swift. <laughs> but he gets more scared. <laughs> And he poops in the kitchen. Yeah, that's how I think that's why he's shitting in the kitchen. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. you know, around the time Swift started pooping in the house, Slime started barking at him. (laughs) I want a dog. (laughs) Weird coincidence. I want to rescue a pit bull that's cute. I do too, but I don't want it. I look. The point of getting an animal is so it loves you unconditionally more than any other thing in the world loves anything. You don't want a dog that likes Amon more than you. If you, I'd be okay with that as long as it liked me some. If, I am the Eamon version for pets as he is to like humans. If you had a pit bull and it slept in Eamon's bed every night, if it was mine, it yeah. doesn't. I'd be okay. The with cat that. is not going to sleep in my bed every night. What if it fucking wanders its dirty a little head to your corridors? Because no, it will love cutie you, the most. What you will do it is will you love will peek over the door. It's, this is very simple. <laughs> Who gives it food? It'll like that one. Yeah, a dude, lot. He bar- Durs barks at you all day because yeah. you feed Me him. Me and Durs vibe. Yeah, but you feed him, and also I vibed with him. L. Yeah, balls. Durst Two vibes hours. with everybody. Anyway, I hung out for Durst so, for so eighteen what, how hours. Are you, how are you going to handle this? <laughs> you it was not eighteen hours. No, I, I, I have no, I have no. Okay, I don't even think I could. Oh, he's, I, he's JFK right now. I have I, no I have <laughs> nothing to say about a cat, nor will I get a cat. This is this is not something I can discuss. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I will. No, because I, I already got cuties. I'm not going to get her a cat and then have her open it in fucking New Hampshire. If you kill Durs, you can get her a new cat, and then you don't have to deal with having two cats. If Hold Durs, that if you kill Durs, you're the only gift I haven't got. Don't give me one. Okay. Yeah, it, it was funny because I was trying Fuck to. You. I'm getting you a gift. You get me one now. <laughs> I I heat checked him and I was like, I can't get Eamon. Last time I got him a book and he he didn't know what book it was. He doesn't remember the book. He yeah. doesn't remember. And to this moment right now, he still doesn't, which is crazy because I'm only gotten him two. One of them was a libertarian coloring I mean, book. And he remembers books. that one. No, three items. Yeah. Anyway, he's a uh, you know he's just not there. He's Fuck. like Ludwig. What we, was it? Here's the thing. You guys you, are the same. You and me, Nick. <laughs> we have so much love to give, and it's unfortunately. These guys are they, Wandered, they yeah. don't have the receptors, right? Yeah. It's not there. It's like you got antibodies for our love. Yeah. I gave you a I gave I thought my gift was sweet. Don't remember what it was. What I gave you? No, my gift to you. What was it? 
the book. book. Oh, the book. And the shirt. Who and could forget the that? The coloring book. <laughs> and who could forget shirt? I remember the shirt. I love the shirt. And the mm. I, it's my favorite of shirts. You I like own. shirt, man? I own several Sometimes shirts. Sometimes I wear it. And I wear that shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my size. I'll open the like. book. I'll close the book. Uh, yeah. So many pages. But not like not too many pages? What was you? You're Universal. How was that? Universal. Did you, did you have fun? Yeah, I had a good time. I basically set it up for XQC to stream. And it's a little hard to like entertain that many people and make sure everyone's having a good time, but I did the best I could. Dinner after was great. Dude, I read a comment on LSF that was like, yeah, not even a lot of great clips got farmed from this. Like, and they said it as if like it was expected. And I'm like, man, am I, is it the kids who are wrong or is it me? Like the idea that like a stream needs to get clip farmed and, and the fact that it didn't have a lot was... It was a problem. I think doing Pro something that that high effort with that many people who could spend their time elsewhere is important to analyze. Was it successful? Maybe he works for the paper and he wants to. I think people overvalue the importance of LSF. Com you sure comments and comments. You're right. I think so like, too. There's, I think there's like a million maybe people subscribers to the subreddit. You cite this a lot, but I, I, it's it's weird because at what point do you say, oh, ignore it all because there's so many people and the minorities commenting, <clears throat> and at the other hand, it's like they're still commenting and people are still seeing. What I'm that. saying I, is, you, I, okay, my YouTube alone has like like double that amount and so catering to them is probably more fruitful than catering to a million people who are like partially interested most of them not even interested yeah. i thought about this when i was looking through our because our clips channel for the podcast has more shorts being uploaded to it now and those get a shit ton of views and when much like tiktok when they get a lot of views they're hitting an audience that does not normally watch us or is even generally familiar with us even even you and yeah, um, they have more views than our episodes yeah, yeah, exactly. The and shorts, it's it's yeah. just like hitting this giant crowd of people. And among that crowd Love is it. a small percentage of people who are willing to make a shitty comment. Because the comments on our, our on our shorts that like make it huge like that are fucking miserable. But <laughs> yeah, the, dude, it's funny. Eamon, every week he'll be like, fuck, I just can't deal with these people, man. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. That's what I think every time I see it. It's like, it's crazy that this person exists and typed this message and thought it was like... This is how me and Ludwig are the same. Because I read all those and I, my brain doesn't even think about it. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, but uh, the way I'm coping with it now is basically what you're saying. Is that this is such a tiny, tiny percentage of the people interacting with this clip and then again, the greater audience that consumes like this type of media all together. And most people... Are normal yeah you know what gets me it's funny because like there's this spectrum where it's like okay on this end are people who are saying i fucking hate that guy if they're talking about me like i fucking hate slime and then there's people who are like i love slime he's great these mean nothing to me but it's the middle ground of people like making pointed thoughts about like i don't like slime because of this and like bringing like an argument to the table and i'm like that's those are the ones that like trigger my brain. I've realized yeah. if if it's just blind hate, I'm like, this is because you that's value cool. thought. I I don't know. Like <laughs> the the first two are people who are just saying shit. Yeah, but even if it's really mean, it's like, damn, that's crazy. I, I think it's, it makes sense if someone takes the time to actually expand and like build their point and then make a conclusion. Then it hits harder because then you have to confront their thought process. But if somebody just makes some like weird like shitty comment then it's like, well, they're just a fucking moron. But I also think the information they're operating with is usually incomplete, so it's dumb thoughts anyway. It's, it is incomplete and usually wrong, right? There yeah. are people be like... Yeah, they start with a false premise and then create an entire it thesis. Is, they Slime are still you. works for Smash Summit, and it's like, oh, you like <laughs> we don't know anything. them because they do the same thing you do where they operate with very little information <laughs> but make really large poignant. And that's why you're the same. But I have a platform. <laughs> Which makes me more dangerous. <laughs> yes. No, what, what? yes. Actually, yeah. actually, hey. actually, hey. Yeah. Uh, and, and now we're the same. Uh. Hey, there you go. Put it there. Oh, I'm sorry. Ouch. Oh, that, that hurt. No, oh. Dude, oh, my God. That's the most concern he's ever shown for yeah, me. Yeah, I, I thought it hit him. I thought it was. Uh, you guys I, saw the real slime for a second. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, go shit. away. Go fine. away. I, I don't even know where it hit. Uh, he needs absolute silence to get back into character. I learned something very, very important about slime like, like three years ago. And it was that he basically explained to me that he is willing to go to any height and any length and say almost anything about any subject <laughs> and argue any point with any level of in in intensity. <laughs> is this about Mario Tennis? If the if no, <laughs> if what are you talking about? If the subject matter 
ultimately does not matter that much. Yes. And that he will not do these types of things for things that are more serious. What I've always disagreed with him about is that just because the subject matter doesn't matter doesn't mean that the way you talk to people doesn't make them feel the same way as you would if it did matter. Yeah, and, if, and and he I don't think processes that part very frequently, and so he just says shit because he's like because talking about Saikuno doesn't really matter that much. And it's whatever. Or I, I thought that I can't believe yeah. I'm the psychopath. I can't believe it. Actually, true. And when I learned this about him, it made it so much easier to like deal with when he gets really angry or <laughs> loud or animated about like something like, like Mega Man, like where we should go. I'm like, do you want to get food? And he's like, no. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because you don't know where you want to go because you're weird and you're a psychopath. And I'm like. <laughs> okay i'm gonna go normally i'd be like that makes no fucking sense what are you saying but now i'm just like all right because i realize that like he just thinks that what we're talking about doesn't matter and he finds it more entertaining to treat that moment like that yeah i treat I, tr I amplify any minor feeling you're as, the psychopath as sort yeah of a, you're the psychopath as a yeah, bit yeah, yeah, yeah. however if Eamon comes up to me and he's like my entire family was killed in a plane crash <laughs> that my father was driving the plane and I, I wouldn't dude, be like, they, dude, did they, Duh, did they sleep in their bed? Of course, because he's bald. Like spawn near their house. Because I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, damn, that's probably like a really complicated thing and you're going through a lot. I want to let you know I'm here for you and like, let's talk about that whenever you're ready and I love you. <laughs> so it's about me putting it's about me putting all these things in different columns of like importance and sometimes the non-important column is important to other people and i need to recognize that and uh that's my journey as a man i would be emotionally shattered <laughs> i know amen and it would be like yeah uh yeah so like sometimes planes don't work and i get that uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's unfortunate that it happened to me, but I mean, <laughs> they kind of signed up for that whole thing, so it's, I it just I gotta, happens to some people. So I gotta deal with that. And I watched it's a Wendover suck, video, like, <laughs> and like the Wendover video said that this could like barely ever happen, and it did, which is like he would fly bummer, the same but... exact plane model to the funeral, and he'd be like, "Well, like the plane's actually safe, like statistically speaking." But like I'm over eighteen plane. now, so like I really have no dependency on. Oh, that, that's so. that's the one. Like <laughs> my emotional stability isn't really dependent on my parents <laughs> being involved in my life, so. And that's and that's his eulogy. And you're still the psychopath, even though that's him. He's like, but thanks everyone for coming to the whole funeral. Oh man! Come on, man! Bring it in, man! Bring hey, it, bring in, it in. You support Yemen bombs? <laughs> no, we oh, got him! Oh, oh, we got him! On camera. Let's go! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Russia, for Woo. the national anthem. A thing I wanted to bring up, I have a name. I, I'm going to revise because I think Nick has the best. Um, oh, I'm sorry, class. Did it, did the bell dismiss you or I'm did a, slime uh, dismiss my you? I'm, I actually am listening. No. Believe it or not, I actually am listening. How do you think that happens, gang? <laughs> so, so Nick, I think, has the best like uh, n names for all of his alts in Smash, basically. <laughs> all my characters. When he chooses the, the character he plays, he's got these funny nicknames. Cheeto goes hard. I, I came up one, with one. What is that? I've never. I've played this character probably like 30 minutes total uh -huh. in my life. Samaranth. Oh, Samus? Yeah. And, and I'm taking <laughs> that, that one. That fucking rules. And I'm taking that one. <laughs> that one fucking rules. Hey, we should talk about something. Mm. Nick is being kicked off the podcast. Let's go! I know. Hey, no, 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 Wait, no, 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 no. What the fuck? No, not yet. News to me. Okay, now celebrate. Woo! Let's go! Wait, Let's go! What? Uh, I don't know about this. We kicked off the... We had decided as a group... What's group for the show? That you... Yeah. As, well, as not a full group. You know, they, so they decided this, and you know how they do that thing where they'll, I disagree, but they'll reach out to shake my hand. Yeah, and yeah. And then I want to shake hands still. And you did it. I did that. Okay. And I can't really go back on it. And so we had our lawyers there. You support there. Yemen droning? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got morals. <laughs> See, you didn't, you didn't pass that test. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay away. with getting rid of it. <laughs> so, Why are we cutting him? So we're cutting him because, well, the simple reason is that we want to go to a melee tournament. Yeah, Verdugo <laughs> with the Aussie boys. Yeah, so we're gonna be recording our uh, our bonus episode without me. without oh, without Nick. Without oh, it's will. gonna be tomorrow, and I and I have to work Smash Summit. And you have to work Smash Summit. You gotta Summit. work Smash So so the Summit. next uh, so the bonus episode after this is just not gonna have Nick because we've kicked him off, and his Patreon earnings is actually gonna be dispersed. Oh um, well, not that part. Maybe like. Mm -hmm. I like that's it. right, Zipper. Zipper class in the background. <laughs> I, I, it's like, I what just, if we do a Zipper episode where Zipper has like a voice modulator and it's only his voice? I just quit my job, yeah. so <laughs> Zipper hey, likes that. Hey, shut up. 
Yeah. So yeah, we could do the zipper modulator. Uh-huh. We could also just have someone else on. We'll figure mm-hmm. it out. Maybe we Swift get it like a different guy. Like a Swift. temporary. Be kind of cool. Dirt. So we can have animals oh, go around. So cool. It'd be like a temporary that thing. Guy's a chat. We'll figure it out. Either yeah. way, this is just a I'm juicy back. bonus because you won't have to listen to Nick's grading uh, voice. Boo! So yucky, yucky, yucky. Have fun working this week, though. It's going to be a busy week. I'm, I'm quitting after. It's, I'll be done soon. Dude, it'll be so sick when you quit, but until then, you're fired. Kind of a, That's right. You're not fired. fired. Trend of, I would say trend of quitting the... Kind of over you know what? Before you fucking fire me, I have one more fucking thing to say to you, motherfuckers. 